The Hundred Years' War was a protracted conflict that spanned over a century, from 1337 to 1453, and involved a series of intermittent battles and campaigns fought between the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of France. This war was a complex and multifaceted struggle, marked by shifting alliances, political intrigue, and significant social and military developments. To understand the full story of the Hundred Years' War, it is essential to delve into the key events, major battles, and the evolving dynamics that shape this prolonged conflict. The roots of the Hundred Years' War can be traced back to the complex web of medieval politics, feudal relationships, and territorial disputes between England and France. One of the primary catalysts for the conflict was the claim to the French throne by the English king, Edward III. Edward III's mother, Isabella, was the daughter of the French King Philip IV, and he argued that he had a legitimate right to the French crown. Adding fuel to the fire, the English and French monarchies were entangled in a long-standing feud over various territories, including Gascony and Aquitaine, which were under English control. Additionally, economic factors such as trade disputes and rivalry for dominance in the wool trade exacerbated tensions between the two kingdoms. The war's first phase, known as the Edwardian War, began in 1337 when Edward III formally claimed the French crown. The conflict witnessed several key battles, including the Battle of Crecy in 1346, where the English longbowmen played a pivotal role in securing a significant victory for the English forces. The subsequent Battle of Poitiers in 1356 further underscored the effectiveness of English military tactics, as Edward, the Black Prince, captured the French King John II. The Treaty of Bretigny in 1360 temporarily brought an end to hostilities, granting extensive territorial concessions to the English. However, the peace was short-lived, as both sides soon found themselves embroiled in renewed conflict. The Caroline War named after Charles V of France, marked the second phase of the Hundred Years' War. During this period, the French sought to reclaim lost territories and strengthen their position against the English. The notable Battle of Roussebec in 1382 saw the Flemish towns rebelling against French rule, providing an opportunity for English intervention. However, the English suffered a setback at the Battle of Nahara in 1367, highlighting the unpredictable nature of medieval warfare. The Truce of Lullingham in 1389 temporarily halted hostilities, reflecting the war's ebb and flow and the challenges of achieving a lasting resolution. The Lancastrian War, the third phase of the Hundred Years' War, was characterized by the ambitious campaigns of Henry V of England. The Battle of Agincourt in 1415 became one of the most iconic engagements of the war, showcasing the effectiveness of English archers against a numerically superior French force. Henry V's victories led to the Treaty of Tra in 1420, which recognized him as the heir to the French throne and married him to Catherine of Valois. Despite these apparent successes, the war continued, with Joan of Arc emerging as a pivotal figure for the French. Her influence played a crucial role in the lifting of the Siege of Orléans in 1429. The final phase of the Hundred Years' War witnessed a gradual decline of English fortunes in France. The death of Henry V in 1422 and the subsequent passing of Charles VI of France in 1422 intensified the struggle for control. The conflict saw a shift in momentum, as the French, led by Charles VII, began to reclaim territories. The decisive Battle of Castellon in 1453 marked the end of the Hundred Years' War. The French, utilizing artillery with great effect, secured a resounding victory, leading to the expulsion of the English from most of their continental possessions. The Hundred Years' War had a profound impact on both England and France. The conflict accelerated the decline of feudalism, with changes in military tactics and technology playing a significant role. The widespread use of the longbow by English archers and the incorporation of gunpowder artillery marked important advancements in warfare. Additionally, the war had significant social and economic consequences. The devastation caused by prolonged conflict led to economic hardships, social upheaval, and the emergence of a new sense of national identity in both England and France. The Hundred Years' War was a complex and multifaceted conflict that unfolded over several phases, involving shifting alliances, pivotal battles, and significant social and military developments. From the Edwardian War to the Lancastrian campaigns and the final phase leading to the Battle of Castellon, the war left an indelible mark on the history of England and France.
The Hundred Years' War was not just a series of military engagements but a transformative period that shaped the course of European history and laid the groundwork for the Renaissance and the modern era.